experts brave the rainbow to judge more than 800 cheeses from around the country. Stuart Tinworth was there too. Hard, soft, strong and blue, all under the same roof. Judges from afar afield as Texas came to Kingham to assess the best of British cheeses. The only problem, one very flooded marquee and a frantic race against time to get them all judged before they floated away. The water this morning when we looked at the little river going past here was four foot nearly below the top and it's now encroached almost 50 feet across the lawn. I have never seen rain like it. We have 867 cheeses here, all British. Jeez, and uh, basically they're all divided up into sort of special categories and that's what we've been doing is first of all judging the classes and then judging the best of categories. So that's what we're trying to do before we get completely rained out of here. When you go to the festival, you'll be able to taste Jeez. most of the cheeses that are behind me now, hopefully without the water and not afloat. Cheeses from 70% of British producers were on display. This is the showcase for new talent. One of 65 people tasting and judging was Alex James from indie band Blur. He's found a fondness for cheese making himself. It's the tastiest substance in the universe, cheese. That's why I like it. My cheese experiments are starting to pay off. I've actually got one that tastes quite nice. And what sort of cheese is that? It's, um, it's a goat's cheese wrapped in vine leaves, washed in whiskey, washed in apple brandy, washed in all sorts. Yeah. As you sort of develop and become more sophisticated, I think cheese kind of uh, takes the place of sex and drugs and rock and roll. You know, music and cheese are similar. They're not kind of uh, essential, but they're sort of the finer things in life. <laughs> cheese Festival opens its doors to the public in September. Organisers hope the weather will have improved somewhat by then. All of the cheeses were saved from the rain today. Not the case for the judges. Stuart Tinworth, BBC South Today.